Hey Deviants, it's Debbie, and welcome back to my channel. Now, Let's Talk Cartoons. Of course, if you're new here, my name is Debbie. This is my channel, Let's Talk Cartoons, where we do just that. We talk cartoons. So by the end of this video, you like what we do here. Talking about cartoons and stuff. Please, be sure to drop a like down below, okay? And subscribe so you don't miss another video. My gosh. The Steven Universe movie, it is fabulous it was a fabulous experience and i enjoyed every minute but of course i know that everyone isn't gonna watch it the moment it comes out so i'm waiting a little while before i make an actual review of the movie however the songs were actually very much as fabulous as the movie because the soundtrack is a whole other experience on its own i'm telling you they really went out of their way to make this a special moment and it was felt i'm telling you it was felt so i decided hmm why not do a review of this music in a video Video, separate video and then do a review of the movie in another video and then I thought it was a good idea I made a community post about it and you guys liked it you guys liked it so I was like all right it's happening I was wondering if I should review the scores but then again I started looking into it and I'm like if I put the scores in there that's gonna be a lot of songs and this video might never end so I'm like okay I'll remove the scores but the scores those are fabulous too you know what I mean I spend a lot of time listening to the scores and honey they are magical so definitely get the soundtrack and go through and listen to it because I'm telling you it's fabulous but without further ado let's go through my favorite songs on the soundtrack well I'm not gonna put them any in any particular order or should I all right I'll put them in how they appear in the show and I'll let you guys know which one was my favorite when I get to it all right <laughs> let me know which one was your favorite too okay down in the comment section below I leave it open so you guys can let me know all right let's get the show on the road Steven. the tales of Steven when I heard this song it sparked so much happiness because the movie was just starting and i did not expect them to go the route of making it some kind of broadway theater production looking kind of movie you know what i mean so when they opened with this steven have you ever heard of i was like <laughs> is that patty lapau daddy they're just giving us fabulousness as soon as we walk right through the door so immediately i was just super excited and it just came to me that oh my gosh i'm actually watching the steven universe movie after all this time is finally here it was just a sudden burst of excitement and the three broadway queens together Together. I'm not sure if Lisa Hannigan is on Broadway, but Patti LuPone, I adore. She's one of my biggest inspiration to go on Broadway, even though it wasn't really one of my dreams. But after hearing about Patti LuPone and Billy Porter and seeing them perform, I was like, huh, my gosh, I would love to go on Broadway just to, you know, do something as fantastic as they did. So hearing this song, it's fabulous, but it's not my favorite. It's <laughs> still saving that one. You guys will know which one is my favorite when we get to it. Now on to the next. Come live with us in the palace. There's Let no us adore you. When I heard this one, it was funny and creepy at the same time. I don't know if anybody else is getting that vibes, but I think this song is so creepy, but so good. Because the fact that they don't realize that they're being so creepy is what makes it funny. And then again, we have the queens killing it and giving us hand gestures and vocals for the gods. And I was like, ah. at the end of the song, I was already singing. Come live with us in the palace. That's our room. I hope someone covers it and make it like super creepy because it's there. You know, it just needs the eerie vocals to really make it. And then not to mention how by the end of the song, Stephen was just like, bye out of there i'm like savage that's, that's savage Steven. you get a neck and all of us and he is savage now <laughs> here we are in the future here, here we, we are, are in the future now we heard a sneak peek of this in rebecca sugar's like announcement of the documentary where she was talking by the way where the heck is the documentary you know what i'll save that for another time i'm looking at you cartoon network because i want that so badly but anyways it was good 
Honey, when I heard DD Magno Hall, by the way, everyone really stepped their game up. I don't know if because they knew it was a movie, they were like, oh heck, I'm gonna really go out and show out. Especially flipping Michaela Deeds. Michaela has talked about how nervous she is to sing and how sometimes she feels intimidated when she hears like the others singing. She says she doesn't sing a lot, but she really stepped her game up. But on this song, oh my gosh, I have to give it to Pearl. It reminds Reminds me of how much I love the extended theme song, like Pearl's verse on the extended theme song. Oh gosh, oh, it's flipping fantastic. And when I heard this, like this song is like that version, but 2.0, you know, like the upgraded version. Per Diddy went in. I'm telling you, the song she gave us vocals, she gave us vibrato, and she gave us everything. She made me enjoy this song 50 times more. That's my favorite part of the song, Dee Dee's verse. Let's keep going. She is swell to finally meet her Oh my friend. darling, fan favorite instantly, but not my favorite. However, I cannot deny the utter fabulosity of this song. This song is cartoony, it's jazzy, it's Funny, and to see how Sarah Styles came in and killed it. To know that she's not usually like a part of the crewniverse on a regular basis, like she'd never showed up on an episode before, but then she comes and she makes her debut in the movie with this song. She killed it! She killed it and came to show us. She showed us, I'm sorry. She showed to us that she did not come here to play. She came to work and she became Spinel. All of a sudden, Sarah Styles didn't exist anymore. It's just Spinel. Hello? Who? Spinel. Sarah Styles killed it on this one. And the fact that it was so funny and put it with the animation of Spinel. Like, we did not expect, before we got, like, view of the trailer and so forth, that she was going to be, like, this rubber hose type villain. I did not expect it. No one else expect expected it. So it the song went well with the animation and the style of Spinel and it was fabulous. Welcome to your new My world. favorite part of this song was the ending where they're like Your new best friend Spinel and I'm like <laughs> I don't know why I found it so funny. I cannot explain it. I don't know. I think it's because they Spinel went from just literally trying to kill them all and then all of a sudden she's all and oh I'm so innocent. Your new best friend Spinel. I just found it so funny. I don't know what they're trying to par parody. I think it's something. Your new best friend Spinel. That kind of innocence, that funny part. But yeah, Dee Dee definitely killed it again. She came through. Still not my favorite though, but we're getting there, trust me. We're getting there. If any of you are able to guess my favorite before I get there, I will be like super impressed. Hey, if you're from my Twitter, you already know my favorite then. D d don't try to cheat. <laughs> Next song. Now finally, we got to hear Bismuth give us some vocals. That's right. Uzu Aduba. Uso Aduba? Hope I got your name right, girl. But she came through with the vocals now i'm gonna say this was not what i was expecting i was expecting bismuth's voice to sound sorry i was expecting bismuth to rap for us you know what i mean was not expecting a hmm what do you say pop rock kind of voice i loved when she gave us we are the crystal gems and we never give up no we never give up on a friend like she really got raspy and gritty and she gave us some roars and i was like yes Darling, not what I was expecting, but I love it. It was good to hear her finally sing. So thank you for that, who we are. We adore you. On to the next. Suddenly a genius. I'm now I suddenly tweeted Estelle about this. She liked one of my tweets the the night when I watched the movie and I was just going on a rampage and just tweeting. She, she liked one of my tweets during that moment, but I don't know if she liked that the specific tweet where I tweeted her and I was like, Estelle, honey. This reggae bop, the vocals that you laid down on this reggae bop, honey, I was living. And you know, being from Jamaica, I love it when people fuse their like their own experiences into reggae and make it something whole new. And Estelle is known to do that. Like she really adores reggae music. She made a whole album called Lovers Rock, which I play all the flipping time, especially this one song that's more African, Afrobeats inspired, that's called Better. Don't copyright me, please, YouTube, please, thank you. 
Estelle served as the vocals and she made me happy to be Jamaican and a love, a lover of the new wave of reggae music. I'm enjoying it, both the old and the new, but I'm excited to see what's gonna come. And a shout out to everyone who worked behind the scenes. That's why I'm putting up who made the songs as well, who participated, because there were a lot of people, honey. A lot. I'll be holding you tight. I'm gonna be right by your side. No this, this is it. This is where Michaela Deeds came through and I was just like close to tears, goosebumps, hearing her perform this. The whole follow-ups after Steven and everything, it just instantly brought me back to this classic movie that I love with um is it black and white i don't remember if the movie is black and white i doubt it is black and white though but it's with audrey hepburn and fred o'stare where they're just like going back and forward and tap dancing and stuff like that it just Im immediately reminded me of that it was talent darling and i'm like michaela at this point if you still have doubt about your talent honey please kill it because you killed this song you 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 obliterated this song so i just like i don't want to hear you talking anymore smack about your singing abilities okay honey because whatever you did before the movie it worked you were always serving you were never there was never an amethyst performance especially in tower of mistakes where i was like uh, michaela could have really stepped her stuff up no you always gave it your best so i i don't want to hear anything about that michaela saying that your voice isn't up to par whatever the heck you're fabulous this song was everything we continue all right so this one was very interesting i want to credit the instrumental it immediately brought me back to the days where i was like not like high school watching high school musical and those type of stuff and hearing this pop rock kind of song on commercials and in songs around me it definitely brought back some nostalgia to me would i say this is one of my favorites no it's not one of my favorites but that doesn't make it bad you know what i mean i'm pretty sure it's somebody's favorite out there it was pretty fun and then it kind of made me sad like i have sad attachments to this song just because i was like oh my god they're trying to sing it so that pearl comes back and she's not coming back what are we gonna do at this point since she's not coming back in this song we're supposed to help her and she's not coming back and is she ever gonna come back like what the heck is going on pearl <laughs> we just want our pearl back so again i have some sad attachments to this song but yeah it wasn't one of my faves but still a good song still a really good song and i really adore the instrumental let's get on to the next Together, you and I. And then Independent Together came on. Now from the Steven and Greg fusion to Pearl coming back to the Opal coming. Oh my god, darling. <laughs> It was everything. First off, let's talk about Steven and Greg fusing. When those two fused, I was like, who is this man that I see in front of me? Fabulousness. <laughs> he is serving. And then the vocals, all of a sudden, I couldn't separate voice actor from character they just became one just like sarah styles and spinel i was like gosh dang it nikki who are you i don't even ever say nikki but you should know that it really struck a chord for me to be saying nikki <laughs> Oh gosh, I'm feeling real Swaggy Thunder vibes over here, but it really struck me, and I had to look him up, I found out his name was Ted Leo, I was like, Ted Leo, you are fantastic, you gave a performance, honey, you became whatever we're calling this fusion, Steg, I believe, I see most people calling them Steg, and he was kind enough to reply to me saying thank you, and I was like, honey, thank you for those vocals, thank you. Yo! <laughs> Steg is fat. I shouldn't be saying so much about Steg right now. I have too much thought. I should save that for a review for the movie, yeah. But I will say, Opal, honey, when you feel seen that I was feeling so sad about Pearl not getting herself back, when she fused and Opal was born, I was like, goosebumps, Opal. <laughs> sing, honey, sing. And I know Amy Mann is such a huge, such a huge inspiration to Rebecca Sugar. So I, I was just like, oh, this must mean so much for Rebecca. I, I adore Rebecca Sugar so much. It's not even funny. But yeah, this one, it slapped me. Especially Amy Mann's little independent together. Her little lower tone. You know, she was just taking the 
taking it easy with the crazy guitar beats behind her, but she was just smooth. Ah, this is a good one. Still not my favorite though, but we're getting there. Trust me. Yes, it is on the album. Stop shading me, Karen. Finally something. Finally news about how the story... I am a sucker for sad songs. I don't know what it is, if it's a sad part of me or what it is, but when it comes to sad songs, I cannot help myself. Drift away, honey. All of a sudden, it had me looking at Pink Diamond in another way, but again, I will not go too much into that because I have a movie review to make. I will say more there, but all I'm gonna say is Pink Diamond. <laughs> oh, girl, girl. Mm. 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 Poor Spinel, honey. Seen her little face. That last part where her gem transformed while well, she was singing, Drift, Drift. Like, repeating the same, I don't even know what note that was, but repeating the same word over and over again. And as she's transforming, I was like, oh no, oh, oh gosh, Spinel, you deserve so much better, honey. And, uh, I'm glad they made that a whole three minute song. You know, Stevie Universe, they'll love to make songs three minutes or more. So I'm glad they gave her two verses and a bridge plus the chorus. You know what I mean? To really get the feelings out because every single word, every single instrument was felt on that one. And I'm, I'm crying for Spinel. Spinel, you're loved. You're loved. You made me feel the feels, honey. We love a good sad song. <laughs> Thank you, Spinel. But it's still not my favorite. <laughs> We're getting there. Let's keep going. Right now, I already feel found. Now, found? Found was the bread of fresh air we needed to not keep crying and never feel happiness again. We needed found. It's like watching a scary movie and then watching a cartoon afterwards. We needed found so that we could release and breathe and be like okay it's all right it's all right and it did just that it was beautiful it was a tall glass of water after we've been drinking dirt <laughs> you know what i mean it was a release well done zach and sarah styles or should i say spot out oh, when a difficult so we've been known true kind of love right they premiered it we got a music video and everything when it came on since it was the only song i knew basically and the situation it came in on i was living and i was singing and crying and having my moment everything oh what a difficult day goes by go garnet <laughs> we can live together hard. that was me honey and i had no shame about it i was letting the tears flow because it was so touching like the song is pretty by itself but when you add the, the whole narrative and the animation to it in the voice acting all of a sudden the song elevates to a higher mood you know what i mean all the feelings start becoming felt <laughs> i don't even know if that's grammatically correct but i said it so yeah of course we all know true kind of love is fabulous it's fabulous darling definitely check out jake neutron's cover on it and mj universe because they did a fabulous job i adored it i can make a promise i can make a plan as i said i am a sucker for a sad song the minor key makes me live i once did a super small acapella cover of love like you where i transformed it into a minor key and made it sound sad heck the night i watched the movie i transformed old old town road on my kalimba into something sounding creepy and on the minor key so when i heard this song the immediate time that it began and I heard those instrumentals and I heard, I can make a promise. I was shook, shook to my bones. I've never seen goosebumps rise faster than that. Oh yeah, one time when I watched Yabba's performance of On My Mind. But other than that, let me tell you something. It's been a while since I've seen goosebumps rise on me like that. Like it was fantastic. 
fantastic. That Zack voice was just perfect. Like, it was at the perfect tone. Like, I can make a promise. It wasn't too much. It wasn't too little. And then the instrumentals was like telling a story. It came in sad and soft and then slowly rise with the drums and the horns. Da -da -da -da. Da -da -da -da. And then they put in the strings and I was living for it. I came from almost crying to feeling empowered and fantastic. Now, I love a sad song, but you know what I love even more? A ballad that can motivate to make you feel fantastic and like you are worth everything because you are. You know what I mean? Positivity is what we stand for here on this channel. So the fact that Zach's voice gave us that and not only that, everyone who worked on the song came through with the instrumental and gave us that as well. I was living! And yes, if you guessed it, this is my favorite song on the Flippin' album. I love it. I listen to it all the time. Oh my gosh. Oh, I would like to thank everybody whose name is on screen for giving me this experience. <laughs> because without you, this song wouldn't come to life. And thank you. I'm telling you, I... I, I Let's move on before I end up spending the rest of the video talking about this song. There's a room waiting for our love again. I've already found No, yes, the song is very much still creepy. But Spinel's addition, it made it less creepy and more cute, you know what I mean? Like, both of them just seem like two perfect halves of crazy that go together to make something just beautiful. <laughs> and of course, any moment to hear Patti Lapone sing Christine Ebersole and Lisa Hannigan, I am here for it. So, they came in all creepy and they were... Come, girl, let us adopt you. Come live with us in your huge palace. And Spinel was like, oh, thank you, honey. Stephen's a fool for not taking this offer, but I'm not going to let it waste, darling. Pick me up and bring me in your ship and bring me to Homeworld. Do I look like an idiot? Do I get servants? I want servants. Do I get my own pearl? I want my own pearl. Like, come through, honey. What are you trying to do? Bring me to the palace. Let me live my best life. And I was like, yes, Spinel. Yes, you deserve this. After 6,000 years of all you've been through, girl, you deserve to breathe and go have good friends. Hopefully, the next time I see you, though, you get rid of those bags and those craw marks on your eyes that are supposed to look like tears but really look like somebody like really went in on you honey you know give us something new or if you want to keep this style fine i guess i don't really care <laughs> that much care but not too much you do you boo live your best life and then finally we have the last song after going on that roller coaster of emotions on that movie, I said it on a, in a tweet that this movie did not give me a time to fully process one emotion. Like one minute I'm sad and I'm trying to process my sadness, but all of a sudden I'm angry. And then I'm trying to pr process my anger, but all of a sudden I'm happy. And I'm like, what the, what the heck is happening here? Give me a minute to breathe. Ah, <sighs> thank you. <laughs> the time to breathe was this song, you know what I mean? Where I was just like, oh my gosh, I can't believe I just watched all of that. Like, that was beautiful. And this song was just summing up the whole journey, like everything that we've just watched. And then, ha, huh, DD, honey. D you know what? Let me talk about Zach's words. <laughs> Zach, you came through on this, okay? You were serving those high notes for the gods, the like guns. I don't know if you were drinking your honey and your lime, honey, but you did it. You came through with the high notes, very well supported, very well done. DD Magno, wait, let me talk about everybody else. <laughs> it was what, I think it was Greg, uh, Sam Sharplin, Estelle, Michaela Dietz, Grace Rolick, you know, all of them on here that's been through all of this, they just came through and hearing their vocals overlap like that was just like so beautiful. I love overlapping vocals, especially when they harmonize. I was here for it. Now, DD. Didi, darling, feeling, Didi, I'm telling you, you went in, you were like, I don't know, like, you, any belief that anybody had that Didi Magno Hall was never, was not a fantastic singer? After this movie and these songs, please do not at her, she does not want to hear it, Didi Magno Hall is a star, do not play okay i cannot wait to see where she goes in the future because she is 
fabulous she served vocals on this soundtrack and i'm telling you i was here for every part of it there's a part where she did like this run where she was like come so far or something like that she killed that and when she did that i was like throw my whole speaker away throw my whole phone away because dd just killed it <laughs> why dd why must you come for our wig so <sighs> At the end of this, I'm gonna have to go back to the hairdresser to get a new wig because you snatched the last one, honey. I think they were saying, and it's bright, and it's bright, and it's bright, and it's bright. But anyways, the song was fabulous. It closed off the storybook very well. And I was just watching the Steven Universe shorts because for some reason, they did not air the documentary like they promised. And I don't know why they didn't do that because I was so ready to see like the making of the movie. But anyway, they started airing a bunch of shorts where I'm there pr trying to process all my emotions. Like, what the heck? I just watched the ball of fabulousness and I, 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 I need to freak out with some people <laughs> so i went to twitter next thing you know steven universe is trending next thing you know the song other friends is trending on youtube and steven universe is trending on twitter steven universe the movie that is and i'm like yeah it deserves it because it's flipping fantastic and i can't wait to talk more about it that's why i'm gonna do a a, a review of the movie itself so y'all please hurry up and go watch all right i hope that y'all who watch this i already watched that all right and to know when that's coming out you gotta subscribe and you gotta subscribe and please drop a like because it really helps you know what i mean so thank you all so much for watching again let me know your favorite down in the comment section below <laughs> thank you all so much for watching please remember to stay positive change the world for the better and don't let it change you for the worst go around and watch my other videos because this is the end of this video a very long video was it not <laughs> anyway bye bye thank you for watching my video today if you're new to my channel, hi, I'm Zeppy. Nice to meet you. <laughs> I upload videos all the time on this channel, so if you don't want to miss my next video, be sure to subscribe. And speaking of videos, did you watch my last video? If not, don't worry, I got you fam, it's right here. Just go ahead and click on it, watch the video, like and subscribe, why not? See you guys in my next video, bye-bye. <laughs>